My name is Ben Adams. I'm the president of Cutba, and I was in the band for the 1981 National Championship. We're no stranger to championships around here, thank goodness. 81 is a little different, but we had a great time in 81. Went to Miami, it was so hot. It was on New Year's Day back then, January 1st. So we had a great time, it was awesome, but it was the start of something great for us. We used to march in front of Johnstone and down the street, just like the band does now. Uh, people would still line the streets back then. It was awesome. Great experience. So when we were down in Miami, I do remember not only the heat, but I remember the Orange Bowl Parade. Crazy over the band that's coming in because finally we have saw a band, Clemson University Tigers, and it looks like they're ready for the Big Orange Classical. Just listen to them. Being a part of that, as well as meeting some of the Nebraska band members, talking with them, saw the Clydesdales for the first time for me and get to see the Goodyear blimp. So it was a great experience. So this is the Tiger Man Kids Club. It's grown tremendously over the years. I think we started this in 2003. The idea was just to get children involved with Tiger Man. We've been doing it long enough now, 17 years, that some of the children who first came uh, back in the day are now in the band uh, or and or graduated. So it's a really cool tradition. Uh, families love it, the kids love it, and uh, we let them also play the role of the football team and let them run through the middle of the band like the football team does at the end of the pregame. All right, so every Saturday morning on game day here, we uh, do a trumpet trombone battle where the trumpets and the trombones play a song at each other. We start off the game day, we walk up, and they start off their whatever they decide to play first. Uh, they do their little skit thing, and then we come up and we play ours. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh, we get the whole band involved, and uh, it's a great time every Saturday at home. So Bruce's Brick is a tradition that goes back to the 80s and that was when we had band director Bruce Cook and so the band used to be housed in Holtendorf Hall so they took a brick from Holtendorf and the band touched it before every game. But then after uh, Bruce Cook retired then it kind of got phased out and back in 2016 we brought back the tradition because the brick actually ended up just hanging around in the band office so since 2016 we have had the tradition back of Bruce's Brick. A couple of members of KKSI. We go after halftime to meet the other band, and we meet in the tunnel. We usually give them snacks, we hang out, and we sing the fraternity hymn. So back in the early 2000s, when I had the opportunity to help design the next iteration of the uniform, I wanted to create a uniform that showed both sides of Tiger Band. So we designed a uniform that could be very versatile where you would flip the front around. So we start our day in the military side. And once we get up in the stands, we switch over to the more modern side. We call it the tiger stripe side. This is uh, the color guard uniform. We use the same one pretty much every year. They're very athletic looking uniforms, very sport-like. And we want to incorporate the tiger paw. Uh, so we use that on the, the front of it. The tiger twirler costumes are custom made each year to fit the girls. And we buy additional rhinestones and the girls put the rhinestones on themselves. So each one is individually personalized by the twirler. The Tiger Dancer uniforms typically change every year. This year we went with a three-piece costume. So the girls today have on their short sleeve costumes with a skirt. And then they also have a long sleeve top that they wear when it gets colder and in postseason. They did all of the rhinestoning on the paws themselves. Typically the Tiger Dancers wear purple while the Tiger Twirlers wear orange so that we distinguish the two teams. For this iteration of the uniform, we decided to create a third look, which mimics the 1904 Clemson cadet uniform. So if the shield comes off, which we do on Military Appreciation Day, the underneath jacket looks very much like the cadet uniform from the early 1900s here at Clemson. I wanted to create a signature moment and was spelling out the block C-L-E-M. S O N. So I added that to the halftime, and we're still doing it. Pre-game was a pretty set, tied, and true formula that we didn't want to mess up too much. So um, we did march on from the sidelines, which was a little bit more formal. We did a drum cadence, and then we went right into Sakatuum Tiger Rag. Um, but now the running on is a really cool tradition too. <laughs> 